Hello everyone, thank you very much for tuning in and as always if it's the first time watching or you're a regular viewer of our channel please hit that subscribe button so every time I load some new content you won't miss a thing. So today we're going to have a quick look at the Skywatcher Star Travel 80 or the ST80 as some people know it and ST stands for short tube and this one from there to there it's only 39 sorry, centimetres long so as an example in the background there you can see my 12 inch Topsonian which is pretty much the same width as this is long so hence the ST80. This one comes on a alt azimuth mount. You can also get this as, as a OTA or optical tube assembly on its own which I'll come into onto shortly. And um, this one it's it just screws in there like a tripod thread straight into the mount with this wheel here that tighten it, tightens it into place and you can slacken that off and move the telescope forwards and backwards on, on the mount like so so you can get it correctly centred on the mount for example if you're using a camera or if you're using a heavier eyepiece and straight out the box you'll sometimes find that the the altitude or up and down movement is quite quite stiff to use but what you can do well firstly you can as I've already done slacken off this here for your left right movement make that nice and slack but you can also very carefully because it is quite tight to start with slacken off this bolt maybe a quarter of a turn and when you do that you'll find it then moves very easily so if you're following for example the International Space Station or using it for ter terrestrial use following maybe a bird in flight or a boat going past on the estuary you can very easily track it although there is slow motion controls also as well as the tripod connector mount where you can, it actually comes with tube rings so you can connect a dovetail bar for connection to uh, an EQ mount. So this one is multi-coated optics it's a 400mm f5 and which makes it handy for photography which I shall come on to shortly. It also has a camera thread there on the top so if you want to mount a camera piggyback you can also do that. I find a number of people they also find this OTA very good to be used as a guide scope so often people will contact me and ask me if I can just supply the OTA, OTA optical tube assembly on its own without any eyepieces because they only want it to be used as a guide scope. So this one comes with a, a red dot finder but it does come with a standard mount there so we'll accept the Skywatcher 6x30 and the 9x50 optical finder scopes which come in ang angled or straight. So this one it comes with a couple of proselyte eye pieces but you, what you'll find if you buy the OTA on its own you get a couple of modified achromatics and that's a posh way of saying budget eyepieces but they are quite good eyepieces. So the eyepieces you get when you get it with the AZ3 mount are a very nice fully coated 26mm plossel there with good eye relief, very nice right, that gives wide field of view at just 16 magnification. And the other one you get is the 12.5mm multi-coated eyepiece just to give you that little extra magnification and if you want a bit more power you get a very a standard Barlow lens and this is a standard one it's just a single lens element it's not multi-coated or anything so be aware of that you can upgrade to a multi-coated diagonal if you want and that takes it up to 64 magnification. And the eagle-eyed viewer will have noticed it comes with a 45 degree prism diagonal. Normally you only get that with the OTA on its own but starting last year they 
where they used to have a 90 degree mirror diagonal, they, they changed that to a 45 degree prism, which makes it much more user friendly because it gives correct orientation left and right, so it's easier for tracking objects and for use on the terrestrial targets as well. The only downside is if you're looking high up at the zenith, you'll just have to bend your neck that little bit further, but you can get the 90 degree mirror if you prefer to change over. But uh, another thing people like this to use this for is prime focus photography. And by prime focus I mean without the mirror, without the um, diagonal, sorry, and without the eyepiece. Because for imaging with astronomy you want the light to go through as little glass or bouncing off mirrors as possible. So always use it like this for prime focus photography, making it a 400mm f5. And it has a T-ring, a T-thread, already there on the focuser on the end, so you don't have to buy another adapter. So just screw, screw your T-ring on there for whichever camera you use, whether it be a, an SLR, a DSLR or a mirrorless. But what you'll find with some cameras, well with mine I'll, I'll say, my, I use an 1100D Canon EOS, there is, I get uh, infinity focus about there, just off the end. But with some cameras you'll find there's not enough outward travel. And so you'd think you need to buy an extension tube. But you don't really have to. Because this is the Skywatcher Deluxe Barlow. And what I'm about to demonstrate you, don't, you can't do with the, the, um, the basic budget one that you get with this scope because the lens doesn't come off. So all you do is unscrew the lens there. So that's now a clear aperture. Put that in there, like so. That has a T-thread on it as well, by the way. And that is instantly a 40mm extension tube. Job sorted without having to buy any extra adapters. And so now you can use it for prime focus photography. So that's pretty much a quick rundown of the Skywatcher Star Travel or ST80 telescope. It's a very versatile scope, our best selling refractor I would say but by a long way. So you can use it for astronomy, you can use it for, for photography, you can use it as a guide scope and you can use it for terrestrial use or looking at ships at sea. So it's one of the most versatile scopes you can get from Skywatcher. So I hope that helps and uh, a couple of little tips on adjusting the tension of the tripod and how to get and also how to get prime focus of photography has helped. So thank you very much for watching as always and please check out the links in the description below.